if you're on the move, a great thing to carry in your pack is a tarp. And have some 550 cord, otherwise known as parachute cord, or some bungees. Uh, I always like carrying a tarp, because let's say, you know, the deal with shelter is you want to protect your core body temperature and keep that, you know, in good shape so you don't fall victim to either cold weather casualty, getting hypothermia, or even a heat casualty on a hot day. So if you're in the desert, you know, this could make a really nice sunshade. If rain's coming in, you got to get up. You know, you're, it's gonna, it looks like it's going to torrentially downpour. You want to get out of the elements. Tarp's a great thing. Plus, it makes a great, quick, fast overnight shelter. And uh, so let's uh, show you how that happens. So for my tarp shelter, I've got two base trees here. I'm going to run it back this direction in kind of a lean-to fashion. So I want to open this one up. I really like this tarp. It's got a silver side, so if it's cold, you know, I can have a fire out here in front, and this silver will help pull the heat in. All right, so we'll lay the tarp out. Make sure there's no sticks underneath there that I'm gonna be laying on. All right. Get in here. Good old bungee cords. Fast, easy, always ready to go. Hook up one side. Then hook up the other. Great thing about bungee cords, they stretch. So now I've got my top base down. I can adjust it, put it's elastic. Now I'm going to run back here and pin this in. I'm going to use what's around. I've got some, you know, nice little sticks here. You may have to make a stake. I'm just going to run these temporary stakes in here. There we go. And get the other side. All right. Now that was very quick, probably less than a minute. I'll probably put another stake in here in the middle. Pull it a little bit more taunt. But if I had to, I can get under there, can sleep for the night, pull my gear under there, stay quite dry. Got nice pine needles down here for a nice pine needle base. I'll probably get some more, gather those up here. And uh, that way you want to get off the ground because the ground will suck all the heat out of your body, especially on a cold night. So let me go get the bedding set up and we'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so as you can see, tarp, shelter, good to go. Nice and taut, I've tightened it up pretty good. Probably will tighten it up a little bit more. Got a nice pine needle bed laid out there. That'll keep me off the ground in case it's gonna get cold. Plus pine needles are great insulators. So, got a nice comfy bed anyway. Uh, if it, it's not gonna be too cold tonight, but I've got my fire ready to go, keep away predators, boil water, cook food if I need to. If it is cold, I can put a fire reflective wall and have the fire between me and it, and that will that will push the heat back into the shelter. With this sil silver side, it will really make it warm in there, but tonight's gonna be rather hot, so no big deal there. But it's open, I got air blowing through here, and that'll keep me cool. So, nice quickie tarp shelter. Have this set up in probably five, 10 minutes, easy, and ready to go, got you out of the elements. And uh, so I always carry tarp in my uh, go bag so whenever I need it it's there and that's a it's a heavy duty so it won't puncture and I like the silver sided ones again for uh, you know bringing the heat so I recommend always carry a tarp in whatever pack you got whether you have a tent or not because it's very very useful for many things in survival Squitty, quickie shelter tarp shelter <laughs>